They're called the Clowns of the Sea. With their bright beaks and painted eyes, puffins are popular birds, but they're impossible to catch. So to count them, the wardens have to delve deep. Over the next few months, every single burrow will be inspected for a nest. If there's a nest, that means there's a pair, and they'll do this again and again until 80,000 burrows are checked. Oh, yeah, there's a puffin. I can feel it. Um, it's just big. Are you all right? It's, I'm absolutely fine. Um, you, you kind of learn how to hold them. Uh, so I'm going to try and take it out of the burrow very carefully. Um, we usually take them out of the burrow to check if they're ringed, if they have rings on their legs. So here, here it is. Wow. There's a lovely puffin. When you see them up close, you really understand why people love puffins. They're like little cartoon characters, aren't they? They certainly their are. Their beak and their feet are so bright. <laughs> why is that? Well, they're very charismatic. Um, this little splash of colour um, is basically for, for showing off. It's for the breeding season. It's so they can attract mates. Um, so a little bit of colour when they're black and white makes all the difference. There are others nesting here too. That's why the puffin count is so important. If they're thriving, they know that other species are thriving. But to understand more about the puffins, they need to get even closer. Just take a look at this. A special camera has been installed inside a burrow to watch this puffin's every move. And just a few days ago, it laid an egg. It's believed to be the first time this rare moment has ever been filmed in the UK. We heard them. Up above her, other puffins are braving the wind and the rain. Severe weather delayed their arrival to the farms this year and thousands across the UK perished. Conservationists should know by July if this has also affected the local population.